So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Jeffman 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. This is Captain Quinn here. No, actually, Jeffman 316, your pop culture reporter. I want to do a little quickie movie review of the film Who Invited Them. It was it's a shutter exclusive. It was a screener when I watched it. It's actually live on the network. So is it worth your time watching? Stick around. I'll do a quickie review and you'll know. Let's go. <laughs> I gave our host a little scare. It seems like we lost track of time in the toilet. Oh my god. Hold on, who invited you? We weren't actually invited in the formal sense. Or the informal sense. What? Can we hit the reset button? I just need somebody as wild as you. <laughs> So Who Invited Them, like I said, is the latest Shudder exclusive that I watched and wanted to review on the channel. I love Shudder. 100% recommend the channel. Do I recommend this movie? Stick around. Like I said, I'll let you know. So I'll go ahead and give you a brief plot synopsis. Adam and Margot's housewoman party is, is a success. One couple lingers after the other guests leave, revealing themselves to be, a wealth, to be wealthy neighbors. As one nightcap leads to another, Adam and Margot suspect their new friends are duplicious strangers. Ooh. Now I will say you could tell off the bat if you watch the trailer for this. Um, there's going to be have to be some kind of twist to it. And I will say that even though I kind of thought I knew what was going to happen, it didn't work out exactly the way I thought. And I, it actually surprised me a little bit. So what I'll tell you is there's four main actors in the movie. And I wanted to get their names right. It's Ryan Hansen, Melissa Tang, Timothy Granderos and Perry Matfield and this movie is directed by Duncan Birmingham so with that being said the, it's about two couples like I said the one couple owns the house they give a party at the end of the night everybody leaves and the younger couple comes walking out of the bathroom acting like they're surprised that the party's over they think that that couple was invited by somebody else come to find out it wasn't they say that they're neighbors and they saw them having a party they didn't know how to break the ice they didn't know how to introduce themselves so they just mingled in so one thing leads to another, and I will say this, most of this movie is what I used to call a talkie, where it's a lot of just dialogue, not a lot of action. That's probably the first two thirds of the movie anyway. And basically all you see are these four characters interacting together. But I will tell you this, the conversation, the dialogue, and this, the acting in this is superb. I loved all four actors. They were all engaging. They all had interesting things to say. The young couple ends up doing mind games with the older couple and they make them um, pit against each other in conversations, almost make it to seem where the, uh, the wife regrets decisions that the uh, her husband has made and like i said almost pits them against each other and then uh, things come to a head once the party goes kind of crazy because you know they're doing a little little too a little drinking uh start talking about some menage a trois action that kind of stuff we were just doing a little coke so 80s oh i know in my Don't house judge me. it's gross it's it's so gross do you have any left Margo. Uh-oh. And so you can really tell that that other couple, they're leading the witness, so to speak. And so um, during the movie, you find out what the twist is, why they got the house for as cheap as they did, what that young couple, what they're really, the role they really play. And I don't want to spoil any of that here. And like I said, so I'm going to keep this quick. Even though this movie probably doesn't have a ton of multiple viewings in it, I do think that because of how entertaining and how well it's acted and how great the dialogue is, it's a really good, easy watch. The pacing is quick and um, it doesn't even last an hour and a half. I really think it's worth your time. So I think you should check out Who Invited Them on Shutter and any of the other Shutter exclusives that are on there that I've mentioned on this channel. Most of them are worthwhile, but you wanna know which ones? Go ahead and check out my reviews. I've got a playlist going of these and I'm gonna do more in the future. So uh, do you like Shutter? Put it in the comments down below. Have you seen this yet? Like I said, it's already streaming. Put some comments down below. Jeffman316 is giving this two big thumbs up. I recommend it. Like I said, it may not have multiple viewings, but it's really good. Um, the acting is amazing, and I think it's worth your time. So until next time, boys and girls, this is Jeffman316, your pop culture reporter, signing out, saying you guys be safe out there.